Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for coming back. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and I am a homeschooling mom to four kids. And today I am bringing you the first of my new curriculum videos that will be coming out as I purchase the items and they arrive for our 2017-2018 school year. So if you're new, um, let's just have a quick little recap. I do have four kids for the the school year that is going to be coming up, I will have fifth grade, fourth grade, second grade, and kindergarten. And so those are um, going to be my kiddos' grades as well as their kind of work level um, of where they're at because I don't do everything by grade level. I do it kind of based on where they are, but they are all within their um, their age appropriate grade level. So anyways, today's video is going to be the first one. Um, and these videos will be coming sporadically kind of as my curriculum arrives and as I order it because I do not order all of my curriculum at once. As you can imagine, um, having four kids, homeschool curriculum can be costly. Um, I have found some cost effective options that I am bringing into our homeschool for next year. But um, with the resources that I have chosen to use, it is a little bit of an expense and so we do like to spread it out and so that is why the videos will not be all uploaded at one time but they will be coming I also will have a updated homeschool room tour for you guys coming um, once the curriculum arrives because I have changed quite a bit um, from my last homeschool room tour that I did pretty much one year ago. I think I uploaded that video in um, this month last year. So anyways, getting into today's video, I have it right down here. So this is going to be the, the science curriculum I've chosen to use for my kiddos um, for 2017-2018. I will be using this curriculum for all four of them. Um, and the curriculum we have decided to go with is this Exploring Nature with Children. Um, it is a complete year-long curriculum. Lynn Seddon um, is the creator of this curriculum. And of course, I will have a link to her um, website where you can purchase this. This is a PDF downloaded curriculum. So when I purchased it, I went ahead and downloaded it and um, printed it out at Office Max for about $5 with the spiral bind and then a plastic cover on each side because I am someone that likes to have the material in hand. So this is a science curriculum, as you can guess, based on exploring nature. Um, so this this is very much Charlotte Mason style um, homeschooling. If you're not familiar with Charlotte Mason, I will leave a link that kind of explains her philosophies. I definitely feel like we have a Charlotte Mason um, style homeschool, but also mixed with a little bit of classical in there as well. Um, that's kind of how I would classify myself, but really I just like what I like and my kids like what they like and I pull from wherever we can find things. So this Exploring Nature with Children is based on getting out into nature, of course. So we are going to be nature journaling, um, which I want to ask you guys, if nature journaling has been a part of your homeschool, could you leave me some suggestions and tips down below in the comments of just kind of what art supplies you've you've um, enjoyed using, um, what nature journals you've enjoyed? Did you just get a, just a basic spiral notebook or did you find some that were completely, um, you know, white paper cleared out? Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below um, if you've nature journaled, uh, and kind of what your kids liked for that. Um, so yeah, this curriculum is very full. And so in order to show it to you without me holding it super close to the camera, I am gonna flip my camera around and I'm gonna show you what I've got tabbed off here. Um, these were just some of my favorites of this curriculum, which is why I went ahead and chose to do it. So we are not doing any other science curriculum. We are simply doing this and you'll see once I show you the table of contents why, um, I really plan 
to let my kids' interests lead us in science um, next year. And so if we come across something that is really fascinating to them, I plan to really dig into that on our own. Um, and so this curriculum is just going to be like the framework and then we're going to branch out um, on our own as things come up. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera around to show you guys a little bit of the inside of Exploring Nature with Children. Of the Exploring Nature with Children curriculum. Um, the first tab that I have here is, let's see. No, that is not the first tab. I'm skipping my tabs. Okay, so you can see that the first page of this 246 page curriculum, this is page three, um, it has the table of contents. So it shows you week by week what you will be learning about and of course, all things to do with nature. Um, each, each one has a list of materials you may need so you can go ahead and purchase those ahead of time, which I really liked. Um, here is the second, so January all the way down to May, which is awesome. All right, and then the next tab I have here is kind of what made me decide to go with this for a couple of reasons, but um, it just gives you some pointers on working with younger children and working with older children, which I have both of and this beautiful quote from Charlotte Mason, how to set up your nature journal, which I have read through, but I would still love some suggestions from you guys. Um, and then the suggested materials for the whole curriculum are here. So that is really nice that she's laid out all of that for you, especially if you're someone who is doing nature study for the first time, like formal nature study versus just letting your kids wander off into nature. Um, so it gives you also book lists to go with whatever it is you're studying. So for example, The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle, uh, A Seed is Sleepy, 10 Seconds, 10 Seeds, I'm sorry. So um, each study has recommended books to check out, which I plan to do at the library. Um, and so that is a nice addition as well. Um, of course, it also includes um, some nature walk activities, and it just gives you some framework to kind of guide the discussion and facilitate it. It, um, of course, doesn't want you to read it verbatim. Um, also in here, uh, each um, lesson usually has a poem to enjoy and a piece of art to enjoy. So we um, will be doing this, maybe some of the shorter ones, maybe a little bit of memorizing, maybe doing some artwork based on what we hear, but I just like how it all goes together. So I am really excited to um, be using this in our homeschool next year. If you've used it, I would love to hear how you've liked it. And as I said in the beginning, this um, link to uh, where you can purchase this will be in the description box. And if you guys have any questions for me, please post them. I love talking with you guys, especially about homeschool curriculum. And like I said, I will have more videos uploading in the near future. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon.